All right, so this is the uh, my personal recording in general. After experiencing the psychedelic experience with magic mushrooms, and this is my own experience that I want to share for some that would like to hear it. I'm gonna share what I've experienced and through my own perception of that experience I'm going to talk and describe things so what I've experienced with this um, especially that we are physical representation of a high self-consciousness that to turn off the light we have physical experience of the higher uh, higher self's consciousness of individual consciousness so-called simulation of our consciousness through which we create the reality which is simulation reality but that creates the actually reality of a consciousness that we learn the wisdom in another words whatever we create through this physical reality which our planet mother earth is one of many stations uh, that create this physical reality through her uh, through which we are born on this physical reality yet it's still like a giant simulation of so-called giant game of consciousness through which the consciousness itself as a collective is expanding is learning the harmony and love is learning how to overcome obstacles just like in a game how to overcome negative and alchemize it into positive I've learned that we are different individual consciousness beings in so-called one room game <laughs> game room each of us playing our own simulation game and um we create through that according to our particular levels of consciousnesses which then learn the wisdom from what we experience here is a rea- in this um, simulation reality upon this planet we are the physical representation of our higher self consciousness that imagines just like in, in a game when you are the gamer and you are a character in your game that's the planet earth and you are the character in that game you live that you play that as a you play part with different people different characters which they are through their free will playing part in your game and you're playing part in their game because they allowed your experience to intertwine with their experience and through that we all higher selves consciousnesses playing a certain parts where we interact in through that interaction we are learning the higher wisdom of it all we are trying to overcome things we are trying to um create the module is the creation of it all 
because the universe or multiverse is expanding constantly through these physical realities or physical simulations. It's like those games nowadays that I don't remember the name, but they have those, I think it's a three-letter name, and I just heard it recently, which have those kind of like a glasses, so-called glasses. It's exactly what's happening. But on the larger scale, on the globe, like on the universe or multiverse scale. So this is all literally just a simulation of existence that is in physical form to experience what our higher self consciousness imagines to be correct according to a level of our consciousness that time to that experience and what we meet and how we interact we expand so whatever you experience here in your physical life is what your you your higher self is creating so if you want to connect with your higher self you know yourself what your simulation is and where it leads you each of us have our own simulations and we all are led by our higher selves we are one to create what we want to create through the intention of becoming better as a collective consciousness becoming more wise than we were becoming more harmonious than we were and therefore rising from the third d to the fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth infinite density and dimension We choose this physical simulation because it's more realistic and because it creates emotions through the actual experience. It creates the emotions that cannot be replaced in an actual multiverse consciousness. Without these physicals, it wouldn't be possible to expand the consciousness of entire multiverse into the harmony of 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th dimension. Therefore, um, eliminating the negative energies, ne- negative and toxic vibrations. We, we In terms to eliminate that from the multiverse to self-destruct, self-destroy we need to create these physical simulations upon these planet stations so that we can fight the we can fight the devil we can fight the villain physically because through these emotions and experiences we activate the highest vibration of energy that then alchemizes the negative into the positive and therefore creates harmony of existence that's the entire entire knowledge or or guidance manual and whatever we choose to create here that's what we live in so the actual driving mechanism of this or engine of this reality that we live in is our own thoughts i repeat is our own thoughts whatever we think we truly manifest straight away so if we think negative emotions 
it comes into the multiverse in enormous energy that creates the reality in the simulation. It's up to us higher consciousnesses to choose which reality we want to play. Do we want to play the reality with a villain where we have to fight off every single demon that we imagine? Or do we want to create actually the harmony and love coming from our hearts? It's literally up to our own thoughts. Therefore, the brain is the processor main processor of the game and the heart the heart is our only connection with our higher original beings our true selves our higher selves consciousness of the entire collective one we therefore have to keep that heart space clean pure and open whatever we let or whoever we let close they need to take off the shoes <laughs> All right, that's great. Thank you. They need to take off the shoes and be welcome, but respect that space as it is. That's what I've learned. So whatever I live, I've created. Wherever I want to go, as my higher self, I have to create it with my thoughts. I start a process and every one of you can do that. Creating the reality I want to live, I want to put in existence or bring into existence of entire consciousness and entire one collective existence I created in my thoughts the reality I want to live I connected with my heart which is connection to the one I give it an emotion which activates the energy of reality being played in this physical simulation wow. then I play a part I let go that's the main lesson I have to let go of it so that it can appear in its own time and I just have to trust that I've created it into existence I have to trust the process of it I have to trust it universal law of cause and effect law of attraction and then there it is it comes at its own time for me and it's for everyone else in their own simulation realities. What I was told is the collective aim of this all existence of these simulations is the collective creation of harmony, love, peace and unity of entire multiverse. As long as there are three dimensional stations still existing that means that there are still existing parts of a consciousness that haven't leveled up high enough 
for these existences to disappear naturally. So every one of us, the task for every one of us is to level up, to learn from these experiences and to level up with each experience, not level down. If we fail, we go the level down and we repeat the lesson, just like in the game. That's what it is. That's how it works. So, we all had been given this so-called simulation reality game plan to do our part because we all are one. We all are fragments of one. One consciousness that is evolving to itself fragmented. Once all the fragments level up, there is a possibility to unite again as one in peace so that the multiverse can be restored into one harmony and love and only evolve in that. Thank you.